Hello everyone, welcome to our assembly for this week. I'm stood on top of Calm Bray, which is the big hill just to the west of Redruth. That's the Sebastant Monument over there, and Calm Bray Castle just here, which is actually now a restaurant. It used to be a hunting lodge. My house, you can see it from here, is just over there, in amongst all those other houses. Now I've come up here for our assembly because this week we're going to learn about respecting all of God's creation. And I thought, what well, better way to start that than having an, an amazing view all over West Cornwall. And you can see Portree, St Agnes Beacon over to the north. You can't quite see Newquay from here, but what you can see is St Allstall Clay Pits. And if you look all the way over there, you can see them in the distance. So this assembly is about respecting God's creation and we're going to learn about the countryside code today because I think that's a great way of respecting this amazing landscape that we live in. The Lord be with you. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Our Christian value this half term is respect. Respecting each other, respecting adults and respecting property and the environment. So let's have a look at the countryside code because it's all about respect. <clears throat> One of the key things with the countryside code when you're on a small path like this is to give way to people. And I think that's especially important at the moment when we've got to maintain our social distancing. So we're just going to stand out the way and let these two go past. Morning. Well, morning, thank you. And now we can carry on. So one of the most important things when you're out walking around the countryside, if you've got a dog, is to keep your dog under effective control. So that may mean that you're on the lead and the dog's on the lead, but if the dog goes off the lead, it's really important to make sure the dog will come back. is off the lead it's really important that he's obedient. Rufus! 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 Good boy, good boy. One of the most important things with the Countryside Code is to always pick up your dog's poo if they've done one. And, the, and it's really important as well, once you've picked it up, to bag it and then bin it. Please don't leave it inside of the hedge or on any rocks, just put it straight into the bin, the nearest one you can find. Obviously, when you're out and about, always take your litter home and put it in the nearest bin that you can find. So one of the great things about Cambrai is that it's been used for settlement for thousands of years. And you can see here, this is a stone circle. And in the Neolithic time, nearly 2000 years ago, this would have had a big hut on it and it'd be where a family would live. And Cambrai is dotted with these stone circles, basically where all these houses used to be. One of the best things about the Countryside Code is to remember, leave things as you found it. So I found this gate closed, so I'm closing it behind me. So on our walk today, we're passing this special place, which is one of the oldest holy wells in Cornwall. And you can see there's a sign there telling everyone when this place started to be used as a well. So in our assembly today, we're going to look at the creation story. Now, most religions have their own creation story where they describe 
how the world was created. We're going to look at the Christian creation story, which is in the Bible in the book of Genesis. Christians believe that the world was created in seven days. In the beginning, there was only swirling water in a huge, dark, empty space. The first day, God created light. He called the light day and the darkness night. The second day, God created the sky above the water. On the third day, God separated the sea from the land. He ordered all kinds of plants and trees to grow on the land. On the fourth day, God created the sun for the day and the moon and the stars for the night. Now on the fifth day, God said that all kinds of creatures should swim in the sea. And all kinds of birds should fly in the sky. On the sixth day, God made all the creatures that live on the land. He created a man and a woman and he called them Adam and Eve. On the seventh day, God rested and said that every seventh day should be a holy day of rest. Now we're going to say a prayer. If you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end. Dear God, we thank you for each day. Please help us to respect and tolerate everyone, including those that are different to us. Help us to be kind and patient with one another and always show respect. No matter what race, age, gender or religion people are, help us to be fair and kind to them. Help us to cooperate, be helpful and listen. Protect all of us and help us make our school and community and the world a better place. Amen. So, let's have some time to reflect. When you were last out in the countryside, did you close any gates behind you? Could you pick up some litter and put it in the nearest bin? Or did you say hello or good morning to anyone else as they passed you on the path? I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you next time.